On Wednesday morning, in the hours before he was sworn in as the 46th president of the United States, Joe Biden attended mass at the Cathedral of St. Matthew the Apostle, a prominent Catholic church not far from the White House, which was the site of the funeral for John F. Kennedy, the only other Catholic president in American history. President Biden later took the oath of office with his left hand on a Bible that has been in his family since 1893. The president always has spoken openly and proudly about his faith, but how does it line up with his policy proposals? NBC's Ann Thompson has our Sunday Focus. President Joe Biden has never been shy about his faith, referencing scripture. As the Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Teachings. I grew up with Catholic social doctrine, which taught me that faith without works is dead. And of course, nuns. I, I guess I'm a Catholic school kid. You, you play by the rules, you know. Uh, what the nuns say you do. Publicly sharing his faith in a way that wasn't possible 61 years ago when John F. Kennedy ran for president. I am not the Catholic candidate for president. I am the Democratic Party's candidate for president, who happens also to be a Catholic. Kennedy overcame religious bigotry, fears a Catholic president would be loyal to the Pope instead of the Constitution. I do not speak for my church on public matters. And the church does not speak for me. Six decades later, Biden put Pope Francis's hey, picture in campaign morning. videos and the Oval Office. Hi, John Fitzgerald Kennedy. Yet what was a moment of triumph for Catholics in 1960 is now one of tension. He's becoming president at a time, though, when Catholics disagree about what it means to be a good Catholic. And uh, it, it figures largely on the question of abortion, which is a question that... John F. Kennedy didn't have to deal with. Why has it taken 60 years to elect another Catholic as president of the United States? I think it's interesting because Catholics have entered public life in record numbers in the last 60 years. Some pro-choice Catholics fell victim to the culture wars. In 2004, several bishops said they would deny communion to Democratic nominee John Kerry. Washington's new cardinal, who prayed at Biden's COVID memorial event, says he won't do that. Still, the Bishops' Conference formed a working group to deal with what it calls a difficult and complex situation. If there's an area where Catholics are most confused, it's how can you be somebody who's um, so ardently promoting your Catholicity while at the same time adopting views that are so extremely divergent from where your own church is on the issue. It's the first time they have this problem of a Catholic at the White House who represents how Catholics feel on some issues much more than the bishops do represent. Villanova's Massimo Fagioli is author of a new book on Biden and Catholicism. What is the impact of seeing a president practice his faith every week? I believe that if anyone knows anything, uh, about uh, Joe Biden's life, we'll see something of himself. A faith in many ways as divided as the country Joe Biden now leads. And Anne joins me now live. Anne, good morning. It's great to see you. Joe Biden, as you point out, talks about his faith all the time during the campaign, especially mm -hmm. now that he's officially president. Will it intersect with policy anywhere? You know, Willie, I think you already see that. Um, you see the impact of Catholic social doctrine on his policies regarding immigration, social justice, and the death penalty. But I think what is really interesting here is all the people I talked to for this story said they see an opportunity for Joe Biden to lead a dialogue on abortion and how to reduce the number of procedures in the country. Yeah, he represents that tension that's happening in the church on that issue right now. Ann Thompson, thanks so much. Great piece. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.